Hey guys, welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizons. So I really love flying at night. That being said, since getting my private pilot's license, I really haven't done that much of it. It's one of those things that unless there's some reason you have to fly at night, you kind of have to go out of your way to do it. As a private pilot, most places you want to fly to are destinations that you want to visit during the day. So sometimes, maybe when you're flying home, you'll land at night, but that's about it. Okay, 16 left, clear for takeoff, and I'll be making left close traffic, 9 Bravo. The main thing here to keep in mind with the flying that I'm doing in this video is that this is VFR, Visual Flight Rules, flying. So you're not on a flight plan, you're just cruising around, but at night in the dark. So this flight here was to satisfy my currency requirements for night flying because I hadn't done any night flying in a while and in order to legally carry passengers at night you have to have made three takeoffs and full stop landings at night in the previous 90 days. So this flight was for that but also it's just very relaxing and very peaceful in a way. Okay, left crosswind, now's your problem. Okay, one six left, there's the option, that's your brother. Okay, car beat comes on, under 110, first notch of flaps. And I's uh, tower, King Air 923 Alpha, Sierra. Uh, approach uh, for uh, 16 right field in sight. Hey, 20. 939 Alpha, Cruxion 923 Alpha, Sierra, the nice tower. We're on 16 right, clear to land. 16 right, clear to land, 3 Alpha, Sierra. So I'm doing this flight at the Van Nuys Airport in the San Fernando Valley area in uh, Los Angeles. and. As you can imagine, it's a very built-up area with lots and lots of city lights. Having all that light on the ground is good, but also bad. On the good side, you have lots of visual cues and visual references. But on the bad side, it can be difficult to distinguish the airport from the surrounding area because it's just lights everywhere. Sometimes the airport just looks more like a darker, open area compared to the surrounding streets and buildings. 
If you look at this shot here, as I'm coming into land, the runway that you can see on the right there is not the runway I'm landing on. I'm landing on that dark area that's just to the left of the other runway. That is your Bravo, one six left, go ahead for the option. One six left, move the option, that is your Bravo. Now this flight is just around the airport there, but if you're going on a longer flight or on a cross-country flight, then your flight planning is extremely important for night flying. Making sure you have the correct altitudes for terrain and obstacle avoidance is of course super important. You can't just steer around things like you can during the day. If you're not careful, you can fly right into the side of a mountain and never even see it coming. But on this flight, I was just practicing my takeoffs and landings. I ended up doing five, and then I think I went home and watched The Rocketeer or something. Okay, ground point seven, that's your Bravo. Benai's ground, uh, Cessna November 9 9 0 Bravo, clear of 1-6 left at Golf, like to taxi back for departure. Benai's ground, running 1-6 left, taxi via Bravo Charlie. 1-6 left via Bravo Charlie, how's your Bravo? So one thing which is pretty important for night flying is to avoid eye strain before the flight and to avoid bright lights. You want your eyes to be as sensitive as possible and be adjusted to the dark. So during this flight, it was really a problem that this ground vehicle was shining their lights at me. They're sort of uh, out of the camera, uh, off to the left there. To their credit though, as soon as I said something about it on the radio, they immediately moved their lights away. Uh, Van Ness Tower, this is 9 0 Bravo over on uh, Charlie Holding Short of 16 Left. If it's possible, I don't know if that police vehicle or security there is on frequency. Uh, if you could tell them to, uh, if they could avoid flashing their lights uh, at the airplanes here, that would be great. Bravo, Roger, stand by there. Uh, looks like they're turning to give you guys a little bit of space there. Waiting, we do have a Nordo aircraft inbound, so they're going to be on the runway following them here in a second. Thank you. Nine, nine, zero, bravo, and one six left, for takeoff over the flight basin, make left close traffic. Okay, uh, one six left, clear for takeoff. I'll be making left traffic, nine zero, bravo. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a very fun and relaxing flight for me, and I hope this was helpful for anyone who's maybe considering getting their pilot's license. If you're interested in a flight school in the Los Angeles area, I'll put a link to the Flight Academy at Van Nuys, which is where I did my training. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you soon.